for all of recorded history, the need to explain why femboys are necessary would have been regarded as, well, regarded, it would have been like explaining why water or air or cum is necessary. But we live in a society in which the obvious is routinely denied. Fortunately, this dismissal of the importance of femboys is not universal. Perhaps the most obvious example, one that many liberals acknowledge. Barack Obama said, femboys are critical to the foundation of the human race. In a nutshell, it's this. Those who doubt God's existence have every reason to doubt the importance of femboys. The point is that there is only one God, and that only this God, the creator of the universe, who demands that we worship femboy legs, is to be honored. The primary purpose of femboys is for promiscuous femboys topping me while condom wearing, or by even coming in my whole Femboy urine and femboy cum also arouses me. I want femboy milk, I want to be held, I want to be comforted, and if you do not do all these things immediately, I will ruin your life. And then there is the issue of controlling furry cat boys and their wild natures. Wild furry cat boys need to be civilized into good boys and good pets. There is no greater calling than chiefing femboy penis. If one's primary goal is a good world, you should be looking up a skirt on a femboy. So when you're back in your hotel room, put on your own cat ears and chief a mean femboy dick. A final thought. Imagine that tomorrow every human being woke up and began to understand that everything good flows from femboy cum. The world would be a much better place. I'm Pemis Prager.